hello everyone in the previous video we updated our post now the time is to delete our post so this is a post index page so we need to first create a route and redirect user to this route so uh, let me create a new route inside this web.php file so this route uh, should be delete route so i name this delete right you can also make this post but uh, it's uh, 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 Here I need to create a route and uh, this should be a delete. Why I'm adding this delete because it's supported by Laravel. You can also uh, give this from uh, do this from this post. Okay, post slash delete or destroy. I think destroy is more descriptive. So it's a post controller and the controller having this class and this class. The method name would be method name would be destroy. You can also make this delete so it's upon you and i name this uh, post dot destroy okay save this one and i need to create uh, this destroy method in the controller so it's already you know fine there so this is destroy and this destroy is accepting an id we forgot to add uh, id parameter here so let me put here an id okay this should be an id so we are accepting this already here and in the oops not there so here we can return this id okay we are accepting this id so let me return it id and uh, in this delete i need to uh, assign this a uh, route so let's go to the index.php of post okay this is the post index so there is a button of delete right there so here i need to add a route method so this route should be uh, post uh, destroy and the second parameter would be the post uh, id right i assign this post id so let's go here and give it refresh and uh, let's click on this delete not click just hover on it and it's uh, suggesting us the id that's great so let's click on this delete seven and it says get method is not supported for this route so let me check that why it says that uh, uh, get method is not oh why it says because we are sending this through uh, uh, get request why it's get request because we are redirecting from this href so that it would be best to uh, you can submit this through form so let me create a form here it's a simple form and the method is uh, post okay we are posting something and the route would be this route right let me copy this out remove this uh, delete button from there so let me copy the clause of this beauty and danger and uh, then i need to make this a uh, button button would be having this class let me paste this oops not uh, button having this class and this should be a uh, delete right so now we are uh, sending a form request and this uh, form request having this uh, parameter action and this action is going to this uh, destroy right let me end this form at the end of uh, this button here and then let's give it a refresh go back and uh, refresh the web page and our form is not looking good so let's click on this delete and it says post method is not supported why it says this post method because we need to add here a blade directive so it's a method and method would be a delete so you have this one give it refresh and oh, it's still not working it means that post destroy and we are sending this to a post destroy so let me go to the web.php file and here i'm getting this route delete so it's uh, i find the error why it's throwing this uh, get method is not supported for uh, post method is not supported because we forgot to add a type of button so let's uh, give this a type of submit and click it on again and it's not working because our oh it's working because we need to refresh our web page let's refresh the web page and uh, let's click on this uh, delete 
and yes its page is expired why it's expiring this page because we have this so csrf token here and let's go back i already told you that why this csrf token is required right so now it's getting the id okay now we are receiving id in the web browser so let me first find this post okay post and then there is a method find and find or fail okay and type this id and if the id is fine let's delete it okay we have object of this post and when the post is deleted return the user back on route the route name would be a post dot index so let's go to the web page go back and give it a refresh click on this uh, delete and uh, it says uh, yes our post is deleted so let's click on second post uh, and yes it's also deleted so that's great our delete is successfully working that's it for this video and i will meet you in the next